What is mental health? Mental health is just like physical health. Everybody has it and need to take care of it. Good mental health means being generally able to think, feel, and react in the ways that you need and want to live your life. But if you go through a period of poor mental health, you might find the ways you are frequently thinking, feeling, or reacting become difficult or even impossible to cope with. This can feel just as bad as a physical illness, or even worse. The common problems of mental health are depression and anxiety. The less common problems, such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. If you become unwell, you may feel that it is a sign of weakness or that you are losing your mind. These fears are often reinforced by the negative way that people experiencing mental health problems are shown on TV, in films, and by the media. This may stop you from talking about your problems or seeking help. It's likely to increase your distress and sense of isolation. In reality, mental health problems are a common human experience. Most people know someone who has experienced a mental health problem. That can happen to all kinds of people from all walks of life. When you find a combination of self-care, treatment, and support that works for you, you will get better. There are many types of mental health. The common problems that can be found are anxiety disorders, eating disorders, mood disorders, personality disorders, psychotic disorders, and obsessive compulsive disorders, or in the short form called OCD. First of all, the anxiety disorders. People with anxiety disorders respond to certain objects or situations with fear and dread. As well as with physical signs of anxiety or panic, such as a rapid heartbeat and sweating. Anxiety disorders include generalized anxiety disorders, panic disorder, social anxiety disorder, and specific phobias. Next, eating disorders. Eating disorders involve extreme emotions, attitudes, and behaviors involving weight and food. Anorexia nervosa. Bulimia nervosa and binge eating disorder are the most common eating disorder. Besides mood disorders, mood disorders, also called affective disorders, involve persistent feelings of sadness or periods of feeling overly happy or fluctuations from extreme happiness to extreme sadness. The most common mood disorders are depression, bipolar disorder, and psychotic disorder. Personality disorders. People with personality disorders have extreme and inflexible personality traits that are distressing to the person or cause problems in work, school, and social relationships. Examples include antisocial personality disorder, obsessive compulsive personality disorder, and paranoid personality disorder. Psychotic disorders. Psychotic disorders involve distorted. Awareness and thinking. Two of the most common symptoms of psychotic disorders are hallucinations, which is the experience of images or sounds that are not real, such as hearing voices, and delusions, which are false, fixed beliefs that the ill person accepts as true, despite evidence to the contrary. Schizophrenia is an example of a psychotic disorder. Obsessive compulsive disorders. People with this OCD are plagued by constant thoughts or fears that cause them to perform certain rituals or routines. The disturbing thoughts are called obsessions, and the rituals are called compulsions. An example is a person with unreasonable fear of germs who constantly washes their hands. For the less common problems of mental health are stress response syndromes, or court adjustment disorders, and sexual and gender disorders. The stress response syndromes or adjustment disorders will occur when a person develops emotional or behavioral symptoms in response to a stressful event or situation. Stress response syndromes usually begin within three months of the event or situation, and ends within six months after the stressors stop or is eliminated. 
Sexual and gender disorders include disorders that affect sexual desire, performance, and behavior. Sexual dysfunction, gender identity disorder, and the paraphilias are examples of sexual and gender disorders. The signs and symptoms of mental illness may vary, and they are depending on the disease, condition, and other factors. The symptoms of mental illness can affect mood, thinking, and also the behavior. The first sign of mental illness is the person will feel sad and unhappy. Second, a person who has mental illness is unable to concentrate on something and they will feel excessive fear in their life. Besides, a mental health patient will have dramatic mood changes and is easily irritable in their life and some of the people will have the tendency to react violently. Next, people with mental illness also will start to withdraw from society, which means they will exit from their moments and activities, and they are unable to maintain a relationship with their friends and family members. In addition, they are also unable to work or study, because they will start talking about meaningless things, and they will have thinking problems. Furthermore, a person with mental illness will always feel tired and drowsy, which means they face difficulty falling asleep or sleeping too long. Some of the patients are having the paranoid hallucinations. Paranoid hallucinations is a sign of mental illness which refer to a person who has unreal feelings such as hearing sounds, seeing things, feeling sensations on the skin and others. Mental health patients will also have to get in touch with drugs because they are unable to cope with their daily problems or stresses. Finally, some of the people with a serious mental health illness will have suicidal thinking, which means they want to end their life in this world. Only one or two of these signs or symptoms are not predictive of mental illness, but they may indicate the need for further evaluation. If a person experiences several times at a time, and the symptoms cause serious problems in learning, working, or the ability to connect with others, that should be diagnosed and treated by a mental health professional. And if a person with suicidal thoughts or intentions or thoughts of hurting others, that person needs immediate attention. What causes mental health disorders? There is no single cause for mental health disorders. A few factors can contribute to risk for mental health disorders. Instead, they can be caused by a mixture of biological, psychological, and environmental factors. Mental disorders are not caused by character flaws. They have nothing to do with being lazy or weak. What biological factors are involved in mental health disorders? First, genetics. People who have a family history of mental health disorders may be more likely to develop mental health disorders. It is passed on in families through genes. Mental illness occurs from the interaction of multiple genes. Stress, abuse, or a traumatic event can influence or trigger a mental illness in a person who has inherited it. Secondly, infections. Infections occur when brain damage led to the development of mental illness or the worsening of its symptoms. Thirdly, brain defects or injury. Defects or injury to certain areas of the brain will also cause some mental illnesses. Next, prenatal damage. Disruption of early fatal brain development or trauma that occurs at the time of birth will also cause mental disorders. As example, loss of oxygen to the brain may cause autism spectrum disorder. What psychological factors contribute to mental health disorders? Few psychological factors that may contribute to mental illness include psychological trauma. Severe trauma suffered as a child, such as emotional, physical, or sexual abuse, will cause mental disorders. Next, important early loss. Important loss at early age, such as the loss of a parent, will also lead to mental disorders. Thirdly, 
neglect. Being neglect or despised by families and friends can transform into lifelong consequences, including low self-esteem, depression, and relationship difficulties. This may be lead a person to mental disorders. What environmental factors contribute to mental health disorders? Certain stresses from environment can trigger an illness in a person who is susceptible to mental disorders. These stresses include death or divorce. Divorce of a family can leave children feeling overwhelmed and emotionally sensitive. Death of lovely ones may cause mental illness to a person. A dysfunctional family life A bad or unhealthy family life such as children and young people who have experienced abuse. The impacts can be complex and long-lasting. The emotional and psychological effects of abuse can be devastating and go on to influence every aspect of a child's life. It may lead to mental disorders. Feelings a person always feels of inadequacy, low self-esteem, anxiety, anger, or loneliness will lead to wrong mind thinking and resulted in mental disorders. Lastly, social or cultural expectations. As example, a social that defines beauty with thinness can be a factor in the development of eating disorders. There are three treatments for mental health illness, which are talking treatments, medication, and also the arts and creative therapies. First, talking treatments. Talking treatment provide a regular time and space for you to talk about your thoughts and experiences and explore difficult feelings with a trained professional. This could help you to deal with a specific problems, to cope with upsetting memories or experiences, to improve your relationships, and develop more helpful ways of living day to day. You may hear various terms used to describe talking treatments, it includes counseling, psychotherapy, talking therapy, or psychological therapy. These terms are all used to describe the same general style of treatment. Secondly, medication. The most common type of treatment available is psychiatric medication. For example, antidepressants, antipsychotics, and mood stabilizers. Antidepressants are mostly prescribed for people who experience depression. You might also be offered an antidepressant if you are experiencing anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, or eating problems. Antipsychotics may be prescribed to reduce distressing symptoms of psychosis, schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, and sometimes severe anxiety. They are sometimes also prescribed for people experiencing bipolar disorder as they can help control hypomania and mania. Mood stabilizers can help in stabilizing your mood if you experience extreme mood swings. For example, if you have a diagnosis of bipolar disorder, they may also be prescribed for hypomania and mania and sometimes recurrent severe depression. Before you take any medication, make sure you have all the information you need to feel confident about your decision. Last but not least, the arts and creative therapies. Arts and creative therapies is a way of using the arts such as music, painting, dance or drama to express and understand yourself in a therapeutic environment with a trained therapist. This can be especially helpful if you find difficult to talk about your problems and how you are feeling to others. The ways to prevent mental health First, you should take good care of your body. Taking physical care can improve your mental health. Make sure that you eat nutritious meals and drink plenty of water every day. Besides, you should also need exercise at least 3 times a week, which can help you to reduce depression and anxiety, and also improve moods. Getting enough sleep is one of the ways to take care of your body. Lack of sleep will lead to a high incidence of depression. Moreover, get help when you need it is also the ways to prevent mental health. Seeking help is a sign of strength, not a weakness. People who get appropriate care can recover from mental illness. 
You can share your emotions or problems with someone you trust. The trusted person can be your parents, siblings, relatives, or even your friends. They will care about you and listen to you instead of ignoring your needs. In addition, you should surround yourself with positive people. Please surround yourself with people who can bring you happiness. Nobody wants to surround a group of people which are very negative and see the worst in every situation. You can make plans with supportive family members and friends or seek out activities where you can meet new people, such as a club, class or a support group. Surrounding yourself with positive energy will reduce stress. They will encourage you when you feel down and also give you some ideas to settle your problems. Fourth, the ways to prevent the mental health illness is learn how to deal with stress. Stress is a part of life. To reduce stress, you can exercise, practice Tai Chi, take a nature walk, play with your pet or try journal writing. You should also remember to smile and see the humor in life. Research shows that laughter can boost your immune system, ease pain, relax your body, and reduce stress. Fifth, set realistic goals is one of the ways to prevent mental health problems. You can decide what you want to achieve and write down the steps you need to realize your goals. Aim high, but be realistic and don't over schedule. You will enjoy a tremendous sense of accomplishment and self-worth as you progress toward your goal. Last but not least, to prevent mental health problems, you should avoid alcohol and drugs. Sometimes, people use alcohol and other drugs to self-medicate, but in reality, alcohol and drugs will release chemical changes that can disrupt the daily function of the human brain. It may create mood changes leading to aggression, anger, anxiousness, and depression. Like and share our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.